everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Oregon Zan. Today's video is just about, you know, we're back from vacation. We had a wonderful time if you watched any of my videos. Um, we were there for a whole month and it was just a dream come true, really. I thought I would show some of the souvenirs that I got while, we're, uh, while we were there and also share a story that something that happened to me on vacation. It was a little nuts, but what happened was, okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning. So we went to a pasta making class in Florence. Super fun. I actually did a video about it where um, we were there, we were transported there by car, um, which was about, I don't know, an hour and a half out into the country. And then we were there all day making pasta and just visiting and um, touring the farm and stuff like that. And then at the end of the day, it was time to go. It was 11.30 at night, it was dark. And so we were, they were kind of rushing us out because the last train of the night was leaving. And so, so I was coming down some steps to leave. And then when I got down to the bottom step the, and the lady that worked there held my hand so I wouldn't fall. <laughs> and when I got down to the bottom, there was like a loose um, stone. It was wobbly like this. And I, I stepped on it and it, whoop, it, it flipped me. Well, I just kind of like sat down, I think. I'm not really sure. I just, you know, when you fall, you get stunned and you're not really sure what happened. You just know that you're, you're on the ground. Okay, well, that happened to me. And then what happened was on the way down, I hit my leg um, on one of the upper steps and it hurt really bad. I was sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, this is pain that I'm not used to. And, uh, they all come running over, oh, are you okay, okay? I'm like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. So they helped me up and Jim came over to make sure I didn't break anything or whatever. And I'm like, no, 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 it's it's not that bad, I promise. I just I just hit it hard, you know? Um, so I just needed to get myself together and then I stood up. Well, I couldn't put any pressure on it. I couldn't really stand on it. And I didn't really have time to even deal with it because we had to get back to the van because everybody was leaving because the last train of the night was leaving out of this little town. Um, if we didn't get on it to get back to Florence, then we were gonna have to spend the night in this little town in the country. I don't even know where we would stay, but plus the fact that I was hurting, I wanted to get back, you know. So we got, so they helped me into the van with all the people and they're like, what happened? I'm like, oh, I took a little stumble. I'm okay. I'll be okay, but to be honest, <laughs> Once we get to the train station, I'm not sure how I'm going to get up because there's lots and lots of like flights of stairs. To get to the platform where the train stops. But, you know, Jim and my friends were like, oh, don't worry, we'll carry you, whatever. So we get there and everybody's like, come on, we're going to miss the train. We got to go. We were late. So we're getting out and I'm trying to walk and I can't, I can't walk. So I got one arm around Jim, one arm around my friend Pete and they're like, I'm like, they're carrying me and I'm hopping, 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 hopping. And so we get up the stairs and we can hear the train and I'm not even there yet. Um, I was like a nightmare, you guys. So I, I finally get up the second flight of stairs somehow and I, I get over to the train and it just literally comes in in two seconds. So we barely made it. We jump on and we get at the heck out of there and we get to Florence. And by the time we get home, it's past midnight and I'm like, well, I should probably go to the hospital because I can't walk on it, but let's just put some ice on it and I'll go in the morning. So the next day we went to the ER in Florence and, um, they did an ultrasound. They were super nice there. I didn't have to wait at all. They did an ultrasound and they said, okay, your ligaments are intact. That's good. That's what I was worried about because my boys play football and they were always, you know, ripping some kind of tendon or ligaments or something like that. I did not want that to be the case. So they're like, okay, so you just have a really deep bruise and um, edema, swelling, you know, there's water in there and stuff like that you're gonna be okay. You just need to elevate it, lots of ibuprofen, ice, and you should be good to go. So 
that's what we did. And we stayed in Florence for another three days and I just um, elevated my leg and put the ice and my, our friends went on and did another uh, town without us. By the third day, I was able to walk on it. So I was like, I'm not missing out on anything. Let's go, let's go. I can walk on it now. Jim got me a cane. I'm walking around with the cane, let's, let's do this. Um, I, you know, I didn't want to go home and I didn't want to sit in the hotel. So we just went and we went on to Venice, I think it was. So then we went and did that. Um, I just managed to get through the rest of the trip in that condition. The pain got better, the swelling went down a lot and stuff like that, but then I got like secondary pain from walking weird with my cane. So it was kind of a nightmare. I don't wanna say that it um, took away from the fun of my trip because I had a great time, but you know, I mean, <laughs> let's face it, it did put a damper on my fun because I couldn't do everything I wanted to do, but I did a lot. I didn't, I went on every excursion with these guys. Okay, so then I got home and I made an appointment with my doctor and um, I went in to see her and they did an x-ray and they said that uh, my leg was broke and it was mostly healed. <laughs> so I broke my, what is it, fibula? And um, when I fell against that cement, it just like, cracked it up there and then I mean I just if I'd have known it was broke I probably would have went home because I would have been worried about doing more damage but I don't know I just managed to get through it and <laughs> yeah it was broke I can't believe that I mean we were walking five to nine miles a day even after because I insisted on I didn't want to miss out on anything so yeah, lots of stairs and cobblestone streets and stuff like that with a cane. That was lovely. And um, and then so they sent me over to a fracture specialist and they did another um, x-ray and they said, yeah, you know, you're going to be okay. It's just, it's healed up. You healed you healed while you were there probably, you know. Um, it's not, that's what happened to me and um, I survived. It was fine. Um, <laughs> I have a story to tell, but yeah. But anyways, I'm home now, I'm fine. I'm walking around without a cane and I, they didn't have to put me in a boot or anything like that. I thought now I would show you some of the fun souvenirs I got while I was there. Okay, so the first place I got some souvenirs from was Orvieto. And this was, the woman was making these in um, a little shop and I liked it because it reminds me of one of my favorite little alleys that I would walk down there and um, I just wanted to remember it forever. So I bought this little picture that she painted. I thought that was really pretty. I also got this little angel there. It says Orvieto on the back. And I got this little Christmas ornament. And it has like the little water trough there. It was real pretty. And I got this thermometer. I, I don't know what possessed me to get it, but I just kept thinking it would be so pretty on the outside of my shed, my new shed. So I'll think of Arvieto whenever I look at it. I got this ornament in Sorrento. Because you know, the Amalfi Coast is all about lemons, citrus. Got uh, these two makeup bags there as well. This lady was making them um, and I got one for me and one for my daughter. In Rome, I got this adorable calendar. Because I love kitties and here she, this pretty little kitty is right here at the Colosseum and in the back. It's all different other structures that the kitties are posed near. I thought that was just so pretty. I'm excited about this one. So that was from Rome. Um, oh, also from Sorrento, I got this other little ornament. With the little oranges and lemons on it. It's a Christmas ornament. I just thought that was really pretty. Um, so in Positano, 
I got this perfume, which was from a really old perfume shop in, in the village there. It smells so good. Mm, really, It smells really clean, not too strong. And what I also got there in Positano was this beautiful bag. There's the front here with the little label. There was a woman, well, there's a family that makes this in this little shop and they do all the sewing in the back room. But I liked it because it has the drawstring. They had all kinds of products that they sew there. Makeup bags, big purses, small purses, all kinds of uh, pot holders and things like that. So with strips of material, I thought that was really pretty. Um, in Capri, I got this little charm for my charm bracelet. I'll show you. It's the little bell. That's kind of the symbol. The symbol for Capri. You see these little bells everywhere there. It's um, the legend of Little Bell, Lucky Charm of St. Michael. That's what that is. So I was so happy to get that. And okay, so I just found out recently that I'm going to be a grandma for the first time. My daughter, who got married, her and Ken got married last summer. Um, they just announced they're expecting, and so I was so excited. Of course, I had to get some cute things. Oh, and they're having a girl too. So I got this pretty little dress. Look at this the lemons. There was a young girl that made everything there in her shop and um, I had to buy that dress. In another town, this woman made all kinds of um, bibs. This was in the town of Padova, I think it's called, Padova. They had like a, a little flea market where people were putting out their handmade goods and so I got all these little things for the baby. Got this one too with the little kitty cats. And then when we were in Bologna, I got this little t-shirt. I thought it was super cute. And yeah, so that's everything I got. Um, all the souvenirs and stuff. Such a beautiful trip. Thanks so much guys for following along on our travels through Italy and for um, sticking around for this video as well. To see all my beautiful souvenirs I got and to hear about my oh, accident, which wasn't so fun. But I appreciate you guys watching and um, I hope you subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, bye for now friends.